All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Now I'm going to be covering the Kawasaki Kai 61 Hien or Flying Swallow American Premier Aircraft. Now prior to getting to that, um, my friend, and I'll just call him Cough Drops here, recommended that I do a little more question and answering. And you know what? If you ever have a question, put it in the comments. And then um, every now and then I'll probably showcase a comment that I'm getting a lot or a comment that I thought was just funny and I will put it at the beginning and or the ends if there's multiple of my videos. So if you have questions, uh, let me know because at this point I don't know if I get, if you know a question and answer video is really warranted at this point. Um, you guys are going to basically be the judge of that. So feel free to drop by comments, questions whenever you want and we'll get to them and I'll put them in the videos. But back to the Hien. This is a tier 4 American premium aircraft and it's of Japanese origin and I guess the first thing you might notice about it if you're a Japanese player and then you purchase it as an American or vice versa is that the Japanese uh, equivalent is at tier 6 while the American premium is enjoying a very nice spot at tier 4. So the differential between the tiers is pretty interesting. Um, now, as as it is a tier four aircraft, you would, as an American player, you'd probably compare it to the Kitty Hawk because they are both tier four fighters, and uh, I think it's a, a decent to compare the two. Now, the first thing, the first difference is they both at least on on paper have the same climbing rate while I believe in 1.29 that he had enjoyed a rather overly generous climbing rate so if they're supposed to be um, on par eventually they will be if they are not currently but the P40 has six machine guns and the Kai 61 has four machine guns both aircraft are experiencing or, or both aircraft have 12.7 millimeter machine guns or 50 cals. The difference is is that here the Kai 61 and you can kind of hear it. The, um, the Kai 61's weapon uh, array is as such. It has two 12.7s in the engine cowling or in the nose and then there are two on the wing. So what that means is the two on the nose are going to be synchronized so that they can fire through the propell propeller which means they'll fire at a slower uh, rate of fire and the Kitty Hawk, it has six machine guns, three on each wing. So they don't have to be synchronized and they don't have to fire through the propeller, so they're going to fire faster. That, um, combined with the fact that there's two more of them, I mean, the Kitty Hawk will have a much better uh, damage potential and a much quicker rate of fire for all of the machine guns. Um, they both. The Kitty Hawk has a, a couple less rounds, and given it has more machine guns, that means the Hien will have more rounds to fire. Something interesting, I looked at the statistics of the Ho-103, which is the Japanese 12.7mm machine gun, and it has a muzzle velocity of 780 meters per second, whereas the Browning AN-M2 has 890 meter per second velocity so that means the American machine guns will fire uh, the bullets will travel faster and the rate of fire of the Browning was faster than the Ho 103 um, at least the Ho 103 that was synchronized so that is pretty interesting so the Kitty Hawk will have a lot more firepower um, despite it only having two more machine guns now another reason to get this aircraft, is, aside from its differential, meaning in Japan you'd have to wait till tier 6, but in the US, granted it's premium so you can play it whenever, but uh, in terms of competition you'd be going up against tier 4 aircraft. It's kind of easier to fly than the Kitty Hawk, so that has its advantages inherent in itself, as well as the economy boost of just having a premium aircraft in general. Um, the Hien is enjoying a 280% boost to Silver Lines with a premium account in historical battles and uh, enjoys a 100% boost to experience points in all game modes. So overall, like that in itself, it's a very fun aircraft to fly in 
you should check out I have a, I'll have a video linked in the description in the video outro this was actually it has a place in my heart as it was one of the first fighter aircraft I really started to come into my own with that was kind of when I realized hey I can do this historical battle thing it has decent hitting power with 12.7 millimeter machine guns and it has a lot of ammunition and as a new player those are two things that you want to balance out. You want hitting power, but you want a lot of ammunition because you will be missing shots. So feel free to check that out. Let me know what nation after the Americans premium aircraft you want me to cover. Um, and the next U.S. premium plane I'll be covering is the XP-55. I'm Baron, and I'm out. But uh, a little bit of background about the KI-61. Um, it was an army plane as opposed to a Japanese Navy plane and if you know anything about the Japanese in World War II the Army branch and the Navy branch did not get along their competition for contracts and all kinds of things was was pretty pretty aggressive which is kinda of funny because you think you're fighting a war why are you gonna be you know unfriendly with another branch of the military that is helping to fight your enemies and look at this, what do we have here? A nice juicy yak. 